Kukuri Fee Salam, my loves, marhaba haibete. So, uh, yesterday I was having kind of a crappy day, and um, it's like the universe knew. And so I uh, got a package, and I thought it was Cult Beauty Skincare, and it ended up being a bunch of new sleek products. Um, so they sent me the Eye Divine Eyeshadow Palette Enchanted Forest. Uh, the Sleek Eyelust Eyeshadow Palette, which to me I thought was highlighters when I first saw it. Uh, the Glitter Me Intense Sparkling Lip Gloss. Uh, a Candy Tint Balm. And then the Sleek Bear Kissed Illum Illuminator. There we go. Um, so uh, I got an email from Sleek. So these were all sent to me uh, for free. Um, but there was no, like, there's never been any kind of obligation to film, to like them, to say anything positive. I got an email back, like, in the summer, um, asking if I wanted to join the uh, Sleek PR, uh, mailing list, and I was like, yeah, no, for sure. I've bought Sleek for a long time, I really enjoyed it, why not, uh, try some extra things out for you guys? So I've done one other Sleek unboxing demo, get ready with me, that was, like, their nautical collection over the summer. I'm gonna link that down below. Um, and yeah, so there is one light. I've got an LED panel of lights, and there's one that's out, and it's driving me crazy. I'm trying to focus. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, I've been particularly a fan of a lot of it. Their, their eyeshadow palettes are really, really lovely. Um, I've never tried any of these other things, so we're gonna put them to the test and see how it goes. Um, I also have a new Clarins foundation. Um, it's kind of tangential, but, uh, I thought I would try it on at the same time. So, um, I have nothing on my face, and we haven't done this nothing on my face in a while, so let's just get started. I'm going to start with the Illuminator. Um, this is in the shade Pompeii. So, uh, yeah, Pompeii. I pumped a little bit onto my hand earlier, um, and it was it gave a nice glow. It's a little bit orange. You guys can see that. Um, but not in an obnoxious way, I don't feel like. I'm going to use it, whew, it says you can use it uh, like as a base, you can use it mixed into your foundation. I'm going to use it the way I've recently been using um, my MAC Stroke Cream, which is just blended on uh, like almost as a primer to give kind of an illuminating base. But see what I mean? Like it gives a nice um, shimmer and a nice glow. It is a little bit orange though, so I'm going to keep playing with it. Um, and see how it goes. On my hand, <laughs> I had it uh, on my hand and it wore all day like through a workout whatever. It was only when I showered and like really rubbed it that it uh, faded. So I feel like on your face it's probably going to last you a good amount of time. Um, and all that kind of great stuff. You could definitely use your fingers. I just I'm in a brush mood today. <laughs> okay, that's that. I'm gonna try this foundation on camera. <laughs> You'll get a kind of first first impressions. I'll probably review it um, in a little bit, but uh, for now, I'm just gonna put it on my face. It's the Clarins Extra Comfort. My shade is 105. It comes in spot. Um, I every time I go to shoppers, one of the girls that works there always has really really beautiful makeup, especially like a really flawless base. Um, tells me that she wears this and I never go in there without face makeup on uh, so I can get color matched um, and I finally went in the other day like right after the gym and I got color matched and I was gonna get a sample originally but uh, but what happened um, they didn't have any samples so I'm like oh forget it we'll just we'll just uh, we'll just get her done <laughs> um, the first thing I'm noticing about this so it had a very strong floral scent. It is seeming to dissipate pretty quickly, but um, there is a strong floral scent. Okay, so far it's okay. Um, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face makeup, uh, and and then what? Finish up the rest of my face makeup, and then I'll come back and we'll do eyes and lips uh, together on camera. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. I think it's the 24. It's the eyelash, the gold standard palette. I'm actually gonna use it on my face. <laughs> um, it comes, it, it's a really pretty neutral palette. Um, so it's got the gold, like unlike the fleeks, usually just all of the black, but this one has the gold lining on it. And it comes with these colors. So this one and this one are cream and the rest are powder. I'm going to use this last one as a face highlight because it just looks so pretty. And I want to use as many of these as possible on my face. <laughs> Oh, that is super pretty. It's kind of reminding me, it's not quite as like 
blue white it's kind of more of a golden shimmer but it's reminding me of um pearl by becca which is incredibly beautiful and they made it permanent which is really exciting <laughs> so that is that one um let's move on to some eyes shall we i'm going to prime really quickly with some urban decay primer potion i usually use like an eye base or a pencil but i just i literally have no idea what i'm going to do um look wise so i don't know what color to go with pencil or base wise so i'll just do a neutral base <laughs> and um I'm use a base shadow brush from real techniques i'm really not into using my fingers today uh and then just blend that out on the eyes okay so this is the enchanted forest palette um, like I said, I, I used the one that they sent me. I've also bought some and been gifted some. These palettes are really lovely quality uh, for what they are. And these colors, look at this. Isn't she gorgeous? Uh, the one thing I don't like is that the names come on this plastic sheet, which I will never remember to use. Um, but yeah, let's see. I'm going to start with Happily Ever After, this shade. I'm going to start with that on 217, as always, and put that on the inner corner of my eye. These look like really pretty duochromes a lot. They have some really lovely mattes uh, palettes. They also obviously have like shimmers in their palettes. Um, but these look like really pretty duochromes, which, yay! <laughs> I don't know what that was, you guys. Me being excited and trying to blend at the same time, evidently. Okay, and then I'm going to take the color Daphne which is that sort of slightly darker um, greenish color and I'm going to put that on the middle part of the eye ooh that is pretty they're blending really really lovely uh, together I don't usually have issues with fallout with most um, eyeshadows and then even less when I prime but if for some reason these do have fallout I will let you guys know in the description box but so far they're really really reminding me of the Makeup Geek foil eyeshadows um, they're slightly less like ever so slightly less pigmented than the Makeup Geek um, but they're very 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 reminiscent and then my favorite trick of all time on an angled brush I'm gonna take the color Prince Charming like bluish matte color um, on the outside corner. This is my favorite trick. Anytime I want to look like I've put in effort into my eye look, but I'm really not in the mood to do that much extra work, uh, I use this brush because it does basically all the work for me. Uh, okay, so I put on some mascara while I was at it. <laughs> uh, so the two lip products that we got were this one, it's oh, that I received in the box, uh, were this one, which is. The Glitter Me Lip Gloss in Private Jet, which looks almost, it's picking up on camera because my veil is so red, a little bit um, more fuchsia, but in real life it's red. It's almost a um, a dupe for that red pow color from Guerlain that I picked up that gloss. Um, so instead of going, because the eyes turn out slightly more dramatic than I was thinking, I'm going to use this guy, which is the Candy Tint Balm with SPF 15 um, in Bonbon. Um, I've, I've worn this. It's super, super hydrating. It's kind of sheer, so I'm going to add East End Snob uh, Lip Liner by <laughs> Rimmel. Um, it's kind of sheer, but it's super hydrating. It has a really, really nice smell. Uh, so, I haven't done lips on camera in a while. Let's just do it. So this will be nice this winter, especially with all the liquid lipstick as I wear. My lips in general are super dry and chapped, so this is really lovely because it gives a hint of color. It smells delicious, um, and it's super moisturizing. Uh, so yeah, you guys, that, that is it. Uh, that's the finished look. Thank you for hanging out, for chatting with me today. Uh, I'm going to do some points of positivity and then I'll be done. So my first point of positivity is playing with all this new makeup. It made me super happy. My second is this new scarf that I picked up for $10 on clearance the other day. Also make me super happy. And the third as well, it is snowy and gross outside. I got to spend the day inside all day today, 
which is just really lovely. So that is it for me today. Thank you guys for hanging out. I will see you next time. Share with me what's making you guys smile. Um, I think that's it. But before I leave you, as always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.